Hello chess lovers, I have a very unique game for you played by Sumter and King in 1965 in Australia. In this game we are going to see 7 queens on the board. Let's see how it goes. Sumter started with e4 and c5 by King, Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, e6, Knight c3, queen c7, bishop e2, a6, black goes for con variation, white castles king side, b5, king h1, a prophylactic move moving away the king from this g1, a7 diagonal, preventing any possible unpleasant pins or check, and white is preparing f4, knight f6, there it goes, we see f4, b4, attacking the knight on c3, but now white is playing e5, counterattacking black knight, b takes c3, and white captures on f6, now the best move for black is to capture on f6, but instead after e takes f6, we see c takes b2, and in return white is also capturing on g7, and the pawn captures on a1, promoting the pawn to a queen, and white is also capturing on h8, promoting the pawn to a queen, and the second pair of queens appears on the board, queen takes a2, Queen takes h7, well actually placing the bishop on h5 square and then playing f5 could create for black a lot of problems, white could put pressure on this weakened f7 pawn, but instead after queen takes a2 we see queen takes h7, a5, h4, and now we will see that the a and h pawns are marching towards the eighth rank, a4, h5, a3, h6, queen b1, Queen g8, both players opened up their pawn's path, a2, h7, and black is promoting the pawn to a queen, and white is also promoting the pawn to a queen. The third pair of queens appears on the board, right now white is threatening, queen takes f8, checkmate, queen b4, the queen is coming to protect the bishop on f8 square, and bishop e3, well actually again it was not too late to play bishop h5, but instead we see bishop e3, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, queen a3, and bishop h5, finally we see this aggressive bishop h5 move target, the pawn on f7, d5, black is protecting the pawn, now comes f5, and this is becoming more and more dangerous, bishop a6, and though the rook on f1 is hanging, but white is capturing on e6, of course now capturing on f1 can be very dangerous because of this queen f6, not allowing black king to escape, and also intensifying the pressure on f7, if queen e7 then after capturing on f7 soon black king will get checkmated, that's why black castled queen side and moved the king on a safer square, but now white is simply capturing on f7, queen a5, well bishop e7 could have been better, but instead we see queen a5, c3, queen d6, Bishop g4, threatening a discover check and a bad move by black rook e8, both attacking the queen and also blocking the e pawn. But instead, after bishop g4, we see rook e8, e7 check, and after king b8, white captured on f8, and the seventh queen appears on the board. And believe it or not, but black resigned because the sight of three white queens. A raid on the 8th rank frightened black to death. Well, for example, now if we move like rook takes f8, then rook takes f8 check and black king can easily get checkmated. That's why when the 7th queen appeared on the board, black resigned. The curious feature of this game is that white's original queen still stands on d1 and she never made a move. This is just fantastic. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck!